<laughs> People, I told y'all I was gonna bring y'all Terrence Howard. I have found a video for y'all. He's smart as hell, y'all. He got all the brain cells. And we left with the scraps. The rest of us. We like peasants, serfs. What do we know? Terrence Howard knows everything. Let's check it out, man. He's at Oxford. He's at the Oxford Union um, saying stuff and making addresses and speeches like <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Been trying to decipher for thousands of years. What we're about to uncover is not just surprising, it's transformative. So sit tight and let's dive in. I want you guys to know about a 6,000 year old secret. 6,000 6, year old secret. Mankind has been trying to Let decipher me know something. this one little thing called the flower of life. The flower of life. Have you guys ever seen this before? Now you know this is one of the oldest symbols in um, human history, right? This symbol was found in the Temple of Osiris in Egypt, and it had been molecularly burned into the wall. And it's 6,000 years old. This, this same symbol has been found in the... He just uh, likes to... Yo, I'm saying a, He likes to add big Sitting words the onto, like, simple... And the simple concepts or things. Just say the thing was carved into the wall, bro. That flower of life he talking about something that was molecularly was burned into, into the wall. Of life bro. That da Vinci spent his whole life trying to... Chill out. There were secrets in that flower of life that Newton... <laughs> this is not Alien Covenant, friend. ...trying to uncover. The same secrets that Pythagoras was desperately trying to uncover. But the problem was... I know that guy. Seeing I this in a two-dimensional space. They couldn't get it out of this two-dimensional frame. And as a result, they got stuck in this plane, a flat plane. Now, what da Vinci and all of them wanted to do, they were trying to find a way to bring this flower to life because what is inside of it? Well, apparently, there were secrets inside of it. Let's... Yeah, Shit. tell us what's inside. Captain Macurba and all of those other things out of it. But they were misled by something I think called a straight line. You guys believe in straight lines? You believe I believe in, in a straight line. line. Who believes in there is a straight line? Well, let Chat. me hit you with something. All energy in the universe is expressed in what? What he about to say is no straight lines. If something is still, there's no energy. Kinetic, right? All motion is expressed in what? If something is still, it has no energy. Kinetic. Galaxies. Are they expressing straight lines? You look at expressing galaxies, vortices. are they expressed in All straight lines? All vortices are expressed in what? All waves. vortices are expressed waves in waves. Are show All me waves are curved. Line. Show him a straight line. You show me where the platonic solids come Boy. from. Where do Boy. they have their foundations? Hold on. Universe? Yo, are I gotta fix my lines? glasses for this one, dog. Anything. There are no I don't lines. know if I'm smart That's enough. been the mistake. We've been looking at these straight lines, this Euclidean wave. Boy, if you don't get... And missing the curvature of nature. So what, here what you said. Back with the curvature of nature. And you have all these little pieces. Now, this has always been an information how, system. My thing is, how so the hell you jump from these points, take a point energy and say, well, what's the space to galaxies and vortices? Now, they have that all no the straight lines. Spaces, if this is the Earth <laughs> and this is the moon right here, all this in between space is filled with what? A void. There's nothing in the filled void. Filled with a void. Well, There's nothing in a void. In the void. The elementary, What's in the void, elemental Terrence? particles that they've been searching for at the CERN Collider, the Hedron Collider and CERN. I found right. that their energy signatures matched perfectly to some of the pieces that I was able to pull out of here. Terrence Howard's captivating speech on the flower of life not only draws us into when did he do all this research, but also encourages a profound reevaluation of geometric understanding. When did Terrence Howard have all this time to do all these experiments and theories? Like, I didn't know that he was doing this in the background. Historical, scientific and philosophical contexts. As we delve into the 6,000 year old secret of the flower of life, we uncover a journey that intertwines the quests of great minds like Da Vinci, Newton, and Pythagoras with the modern rethinking of geometry. The flower of life, an intricate symbol composed of multiple evenly spaced overlapping circles is more than just a mesmerizing design. It's a portal into the ancient understanding of the universe. Its presence in the Temple of Osiris in Egypt and in hidden you know, temples the under thing the is, watchful eyes of foo dogs in China. We have a modern day reference. understanding of this, this thing, symbol, and we know that they weren't the all the way right. Forms of space and time is a visual expression of the connections that life weaves through all sentient beings. We have the answers for things. Of the cosmos.
Terence Howard's admiration for the symbol is not an isolated phenomenon. History tells us of great minds who also pondered over its significance. Leonardo da Vinci, a polymath of the Renaissance era, is known for his extensive studies of the flower of life. Isn't da Vinci, da Vinci the same one that made all these contraptions that just wouldn't work? Like he made like a flying contraption, just, it universe. wouldn't fly. And Similar. now we have airplanes so that actually fly. In his quest to understand so what? gravitational what? force and the mechanics of the cosmos, delved into ancient knowledge and symbols, including the flower of life. It suggested that Newton's famed discovery of gravity was part like of a you try to go off the rooftop with one of his little contraptions and see if you know about symbols. Pythagoras, the Greek mathematician, also journeyed through these mystical realms, using geometric principles to understand the harmonies of music and the structure of the universe. But what Howard brought getting a lot of pseudo science from this station these great minds faced, their confinement within two-dimensional perspectives. Despite their genius, they grappled with the symbol's profundity, unable to fully transcend its planar representation. This is where Howard's critique of traditional Euclidean geometry opens a new avenue of understanding. Euclidean geometry, the bedrock of much of our mathematical and scientific understanding, focuses on flat, two-dimensional Ah, I don't want to get too much into this, but because bro's chatting, I really want to just find Terrence Howard giving one of his little speeches. I'm going to see if I could pull that up for y'all people. That was just a little taste of the foolishness that Terrence Howard is going on with people. Telling people about chromosomes and missing um, things, links, genes. 2% of our DNA is different from chimpanzees. So where that 2% 2 go is it's something going, I don't know. I really don't. I'm trying to figure it out along with you guys. Come on, man. We're going to figure this out. We in this together. Black power, white power, all, pe all lives matter.